there, Traps Magua here, and I got yet another Legends of Runeterio for you guys today. And today we're taking Tommy Boy from the bench, and does that make sense? Hopefully. And we're bringing him onto the field as we're playing Tom Kench Cold Food. One of my most beloved decks is back at it now that Tom Kench got buffed. In case you don't know, Tom Kench now also generates an acquired taste when he summoned, not only on round start, which is actually a very big deal because it allows you to capture something the same turn you play him. This is a this is really important, especially in the later portions of the game. And with a decks built around Tom Kench tend to, you know, feature long matches, right? So it's a very, very relevant buff that it actually makes him quite better. And I was really eager to see how cold food could match up against the meta. There's two different variants of cold food, which is essentially Tom Kench with Froyer. It's how I like to call it. <laughs> we have uh, either the Howling Abyss uh, in a control archetype, or we have uh, Ash in a more offensive archetype. Uh, the Ash deck is pretty much unplayable right now, close to, like, it doesn't do well against Swain, and it doesn't match up well against the majority of decks running around right now, and unfortunately, this is not the time for it. So I figured a more slowly sort of reactive deck that makes use of the pressure that Tom Kench applies could uh, be good in this environment, and it's been outstanding. This deck has, I've been playing this deck, like, right now, I'm, I'm still, like, really high up in, well, high up. For, for uh, a brewer like me, I don't tend to be this high ranked because I always switch between decks and, you know, I tank my rank and then I go back up and back down. But I'm, I'm actually at 214, so we are still climbing and we've done so with this deck right here. So this, the idea is we're working towards Howling Abyss. This is our win condition. Howling Abyss at round start creates in hand a random level two champion that's not in your hand, deck, or in play. So we are generating a level two champion every single turn. And that is an insane snowball engine that comes at the price of essentially not doing anything for six mana initially, right? So we're working towards this and the objective is to win with level two champions. You'd be surprised at how easy it is to win games when you keep having level two champions thrown into your hand. It's pretty fantastic, right? So that is how we finish matches. In order to get there, we need to stall out the match. We need to control what the opponent is doing and disrupt whatever it is their strategy is. And Tom Kench is phenomenal at that. Tom Kench, in conjunction with Frostbite effects here, will allow us to start eating up the bigger threats from the opponent. And a lot of times, especially in matchups in which they have uh, an easier time dealing with Tom Kench, like Noxus-based decks with Swain, and, you know, Ravenous Flocks, Disintegrate, etc. Disintegrate is, is quite problematic, but aside from that, what we do with Tom Kench in those matchups is we don't start gobbling up things immediately. The key thing to playing Tom Kench is to make use of the pressure that he applies just by existing. That acquired taste remaining in your hand and being an option for you is a tool that you have to use to make the opponent play suboptimally and a tool to make them pass and burn a lot of mana and buy you time so that you can set up the Howling Abyss to win. That is what Tom Ketch is doing a lot of times. We're not focusing on leveling him up in a lot of matchups. We're just using them to slow down the opponent. These two champions in Tom Ketch and Braum are very good at slowing down aggression. Uh, Braum more specifically like unit-based aggression, like he's more limited in that sense, but Tom Kench can shut down back row strategies as well. So by using these two champions to slow down the game and reaching to, towards Howling Abyss is how we end up closing out the match. So what did we do prior? Well, we got Starlet Seer, which can buff our, our key units in our deck through multiple Spain, uh, Spain, Spain, spell chaining, <laughs> spell chaining Spain. <laughs> Oh, my braid. My braid is just very bizarre. So, with Starless here, we can buff our key units. We can make our Brahma thicker. We can make our Tom Kench bigger. We can make our Rhyme to Shaman bigger as well. Rhyme to Shaman is a very key unit because she also helps us slow down the match by effectively, you know, frostbiting the strongest enemy every round. We you know, take away the power from an open attack and are able to hold them back. And she synergizes extremely well with Tom Kench because we frostbite the strongest enemy and then we eat it. It's phenomenal. Like if we're facing something like a Demacia mid-range deck, we can be more aggressive with Tom Kench because as long as we have frostbite backup to protect them from strike spells, 
you know, your our opponent will have a very difficult time removing him. So Ryan Tuck Shaman, ever since he got buffed from a 3-3 to a 3-4, puts in the work and can get buffed by either Omen Hawk or Starlet Seer and be even more difficult to remove. We got Iodic Agaboros and a one-off of Salvage for some card draw that we need with this deck as we have a full set of Kindly Tavern Keeper to buy some time, heal our Nexus, and stay alive. Staying alive is pretty important in order to win. You know, you heard it here first. As then, we have Iceville Archer, which can work really well with Tom Kench. You can also slow down the game. A bunch of Frostbites. I really like Brittle Steel. Uh, very cheap, and, and there's always a target for it nowadays, so I really, really enjoy it here, as we also have Protection with Troll Chant and Elixir of Iron to make sure our big boys, our big four drops, don't go down as easy. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the deck list right there. Extremely fun, uh, not easy to pilot, but super rewarding and, you know, at least to long games, but I'm, I'm a big fan of that and I just love me some cold food. And I love me some Howling Abyss. I just, you know, I feel a bit of a hypocrite saying it, but I just, I love the variants. I love just every game feels a complete different and having to make use of these random level two champions that you're getting that sometimes synergize with, with each other in either obvious or not as clear ways is really one of the main perks of playing a deck like this, and I just had a great time recording this. Hopefully you guys enjoy the matches, and I'm gonna stop rambling because today's video is pretty long and I don't wanna, hopefully it doesn't go over an hour, maybe it does. So whatever, if it does, love you, have a soul day. Thank you guys for watching, stay tuned for Daily Legends of Runeterra content. Leave a like for Tom Kench, god fucking damn it. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, let's play some cold food. Definitely could be a matchup in which this shines. Um, what are we looking for here? We can mulligan away. I like the Brahm. I'm gonna mulligan away everything else, including the three sisters. Perfect. Much better. Really like seeing that Starlet Seer. There's the Howling Abyss, All right. We got the wind condition. Online. Who goes there? Who goes there? Unyielding light. Uh, if you're watching, Kiki, don't do that. If you have a, I, I was just gonna say this tells us that, that they don't have a, Sol a Solaris Shield Bear. You always play a Solaris Shield Bear and swing. It's a free swing, like. Uh, I, there's just no reason not to do that. That's such a. I'm disappointed. I am disappointed. Now's when you open swing. Unless you have a Solari still according. Doing it all wrong. Give me a nice. Stand behind, bro. In a suspicious season. This brittle steel prevents three damage. Allows me to uh, trigger my my Starlet Seer. And Brom is the ultimate stall tool. I see, bro. I see. And now we set up the Rhyme Tusk Shaman. Even if they have a single combat, we have like Zerve Iron to survive. I am the bulwark against darkness. Daylight breaks on the battlefield. Behold the sun's holy light. Not and ready. I'm gonna go with the Iceville Archer to stop this Leona from getting rid of my Rhyme Tusk Shaman. Stand and fight. 
I'll gladly trade the Ice Veil Archer. I can set up the Kindly Tavern Keeper. Burn away doubt. Arm protect the villages. Fleshed by snow and stars. Stop that. My shield is my sword. Have you met my shield? Look how we have grown. Behold the sun's holy light. And now we develop the Howling Abyss. And uh, we can see if we can get some level 2 champions to bring this back. Uh, we're under a lot of pressure, naturally. That's pretty good. Sunlight light. I am very strong with the mountain because I am a mountain. I'm gonna end two of Raven, so he can't stun me more with Leona. Okay. 
Sejuani. Oh my god. Are they gonna open attack? Sejuani doesn't doesn't do it. Like I I needed I needed one more turn to do it. If they have healing, they have healing. I can set up a blocker here, but it just it just doesn't make a difference. It comes down to whether uh, we can kill with this blade's edge or not. Like we in oh oh let's go! <laughs> I had no faith. I actually had no faith! Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, we're climbing too much though! We're climbing too much! This is a problem. Alright, round two. Against Twisted Fate Swain. We definitely don't need the Ice of Archers. Elixir of Iron can be pretty damn useful, and so can Kindly Tavern Keeper. Because we, we could receive a bit of a beating early on here. This allows us to, you know, it is mostly damage based removal, right? Even though they have disintegrate as well, potentially. Turn one idle, alright. Now, Tom Kench in this matchup can be tricky, right? Because they can remove him, <laughs> unfortunately. So, we gotta be very wary. We gotta use Tom Kench as, we're gonna use Acquired Taste to pressure the opponent. I'm sure there's something for my taste. The cool thing is that if we capture this, then when we spit it back out, it'll be as a 1-1. One, one. It'll lose all, all the buffs that it has. Do we take this hit? They've got nowhere to go. We take the hit. We use our, our health as a resource here. Bring me the calm of an ice shrouded world. I'm gonna continue to develop threats. You know, they, they have a removal, but they have to spend it. Right, cards in hand. Whoa. Perfect. That's great. That's a two for one trade. I'm happy to see that. We have another Tom Kench in hand. This matchup, we're just gonna use Tom Kench to to eat up the removal. We swing first. That's why I, I, I took that hit. I didn't want to lose this three three body. This three three body can help me push damage. It's important. Like I'm willing to sacrifice five for it, because from this point onwards, it's gonna be difficult for me to deal damage to us through combat. Victory awaits. I'm gonna use this to eat up that because like I said, unless they kill him immediately. Six cards left. Free the Swain. Freeze the Swain. 
We can use Kylian Tavern Keeper to heal our Tom Kench in case they try to damage him. Unless they have Disintegrate, we could potentially preserve our... There is a world in which this Tom Kench actually levels up, despite the matchup. Because they need Disintegrate. That's a lot of mana spent. They're back up to 8 cards. Uh, we are at 8, even though one of them is fleeting. We have a lot of health gain. Only Disintegrate is the biggest problem. I'm gonna go for it. You had your chance to walk away. Glory, courage, excuses for war. Super fine. Not and ready. I need to not have a disintegrate here. We go wide, we spread out. I'm sure there's something for my taste. No disintegrate. Just no disintegrate. That's all I need. I really need this to go through. They've already played one disintegrate. I just need anything but disintegrate. I can deal with anything. I have I have these two. Like I will survive. Oh! Let's go! Come on in! In my magnificence! Oh, that's glorious! A tactical down and two slades! Not one, but two, baby! Let's go! Making up for the fact that we don't find our Howling Abyss. Fantastic! Holy shit! Just one more to go. And with this Tom Kitch on the board, oh my, oh. Should I probably swing? No, I should, I should. Could have dealt a little bit more damage, but I don't think we need to be racing here. We actually want this time catch to die. There's always room for supper. <laughs> Come on, don't give up now. You still have a lot of cards. Did it in? Oh, they cried, Uncle. <laughs> Tommy boy! Now we gormandize. Ooh, what is this? Fizz Yumi, okay. We have the Omen Hawk. Um, we would want to keep one three sisters, but we're only gonna weigh the other one. One is good to have because it's, it's good to have freezes. Against the Fizz deck. Always love to lead off with the Omen Hawk. Okay, no phase it seems. Or maybe they do have it, but they don't they don't want to be vulnerable to like a make it rain. I don't get the health gain, but I'm still down to play a three mana four four. You know, 3-mana 4-4 four, four is pretty decent. It's fine. How about a 
another round. End up this time, look. Winter is the Freljord's true ruler. Where the hope this rhyme touch shaman here? The frost reveals all to me. Okay, the ordering on that didn't wasn't great. I could play Howling Abyss, but I think I wanna develop you first. Ooh. And let's take this outside. I could have gone for the acquired taste to threaten this, but I, I wanna I wanna preserve my mana here. Trade this trade into this naturally. Okay. I don't know if I need to be buffing my my board as much, my, my deck. But why not get this guy in? Oh, that's one of these three sisters. Fucked. This would be a good now we do capture this because we we eliminate the uh, the y Yumi this way. No, Yumi should Yumi should be dead. Oh, I guess not. If you obliterate, you kill her. But if you capture, you don't. This establishment's fair. Prepared for anything. They'll never know what hit them. Adventure starts with mushrooms. Well, I can do that too. All right. Abyss versus abyss. What do we get? Malk. <laughs> That's useless. Appetizers of plenty. Spot on the trail. A true Fagnonian welcome. <laughs> An auspicious season. Come on in. Come on in. Well, what a new adventure. The frost is all to me. I don't require a menu. As I live, all will die. <laughs> no mercy. I've carved meat bigger than you. Blessed by snow and stars. This would be a good winter! Blessed by snow and stars! Let's eat Krako Boy. We're gonna have some reggaeton for dinner. And hopefully level up Tom Kench here. Though this could be, uh, we could be witnessing a Three Sisters. Ooh, they're trying to buff it? Really? I was worried about a, a three sisters into an entomb, which is very likely, given they're, they're playing for Yord. But anything else, if they're trying to do this via damage, it's just not happening. I mean, sure. <laughs> 
<laughs> Math? <laughs> Call me king! Call me demon! Chow down, shall we? Get that otterpus in. Let's digest, Caitlyn. And get that protein. Get that protein from Renekton. Here in your time of need. And now we play Anivia. Cause why the fuck not? I'm sure there's something for my tastes. Oh, it's Lee Sin. I've heard of you. And I've heard of you. Maybe this is a mistake. <laughs> oh man, we just ate all their champions. All their level two champions don't matter. We eat them. I thank you, Dragon. MVP. All right. Let's see how this matchup goes. We definitely need to go for a full mulligan. The problem is homecoming. Oh man, homecoming recalls landmarks. That's so. Does it? Can it recall my own? Yeah, it can. Right? Oh, that's so dumb. Yeah, homecoming get needs to get nerfed. That's insane. We're gonna be using Tom Kench as, uh, as a way to apply pressure here. What will you have? The strength within Tom Kench lies in the pressure that acquired taste applies. Right? So we're making our opponent play inefficiently here. We're, we're making them burn mana. This round I'd like to i I'd like to set up the Now I play the Howling Abyss because now if they do want a homecoming, then I can just play the next round. Like I'm not under any pressure and I still have the acquired taste enabled. I am the Simon Wind. Whoosh. Cool, sorry bro. It's not you I'm interested in though. I want your big sister. I assume they're related. <laughs> Said the lore expert. Cause you know, she she may be there it is. Let us peruse this establishment's fair. Playing it again. What could you ever teach me? Humility. Wu Ting style. The wind howls. 
You see the pressure that this acquired taste is doing? Like now, now. Yeah. Where there's a will, there's a meal. Art requires a certain cruelty. <laughs> Seven cards in hand, one of them being a one mana spell. Again, not resorting to this until until I see the big champions. Appetizers of plenty. Cat, cat the wind. Here, fishy, fishy. Move with purpose. Fly away while you can. Blessed by snow and stars. Let's keep it simple. One troll chant will preserve my board here. Clearing their board, we still pass. We still pass. Ho ho! Let us peruse this establishment's fair. Ionia speaks through me. me. <laughs> oh. Now we come and die. I'm hungry. What is this? This is this is like old school Lux Poppy, I guess. Is it the same build? We're gonna go ahead and go for a full mulligan here. Even though we have a three drop in Tavern Keeper, we want Starlet Seer. Yes. Very good. <clears throat> we have Ice Veil Archer. Which can, like, we can easily shut down Poppy. Consider the attack on even. It's really neat. And there's the Howling Abyss. Good stuff. I like it. I'm gonna play Omen Hop, have a bit of an extra blocker here. We get Kindly Tavern Keeper, which is nice. This is a bit annoying because we can't really, we can't freeze this. Interesting. Double bird. Lux is th certainly threatening. So by playing the Omen Hawk, I'm still the uh, the possibility of Tom Catch still exists. And they may be worried about losing their lucks to it. Which is why we're gonna stall as much as we can. <laughs> Curious Shell Folk is not what I was expecting here.
fight for those who cannot. And now we play Garen. Let the light guide you. Winter takes you. The wicked must fall. I don't know when pranks... I, I thought pranks were not supposed to be able to alter the cost of units. Guess I, I guess that changed at some point. Your I'm gonna do it like this because if I recall the curious shell folk, they cannot replay her this turn. Or I can just kill her. So getting rid of the curious shell folk is step number one. Will be served. Towards surviving. Second Concerted Strike going down. Dealing with Curious Shell Folk is huge here. Gotta really, uh... We got a thick-ass Garen. That they don't really want to attack into, and it gets Spell Shield every single time, which makes it really difficult to deal with. I really is pretty good, because I, really, I really can enable... Okay, they still need something for that. Come on. 
Get it immediately. Okay. Show them no weakness. I gotta play a slow game. I'm, I'm going... It's gonna take me a long time, but I'm going to outvalue this deck. My engine is just so powerful. Taking away the spell shield, okay. <laughs> Alright. That's 12 mana to deal with this, Garen. That's a desperate attack if I've ever seen one. I know, right? Finally getting rid of this Lux. This is a really cool game. <laughs> like, it's really dragged out for man. They want to hit this Storm Lobber, and I know that. So if they don't blast away, we just pass back. Actually, we, we play you. Prevent damage. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Here in your time of need. The super friends. Missing from lethal. We may just uh, develop here. I was gonna wait out, but now if they play something like, yeah, we miss out. We miss out on the ability to challenge. 
But I really need to end this game. Maybe it was better to hold back. But wiping out their, their chump blockers with an Ivia just felt too neat. Okay, so there's two cards in, in the hand that are from Conchologist. What else? What else? What else? I just know the heroes around here somewhere. There's Poppy. It's not an issue. Can we get another Daybreak Champion? <laughs> can, can that exist? Oh! 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 oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> Bingo! My quest is dangerous, but I will see it through. Now I'm ready to chow down. I'm not worried about this poppy though. All right. <laughs> I mean, they could have gone for Demacia, but I'm still too thick. The power. Our deeds will be written in the heavens. What a comeback, though.